Students of the Chinibu Akwedia Senior High School were the first to protest after they claimed school authorities were overly strict and as a result, they were not able to answer the questions as expected. Following that action, other students from different schools, including the Jabin Senior High School, also protested after they felt they were unable to properly answer the examination questions. At the Jabin Senior High School, the Municipal Chief Executive has met the Municipal Education Director as well as other key stakeholders to draw a roadmap on how to fully address the issue. The Conference of Heads of Assisted Secondary Schools, CHAS, believes such actions can only be stopped while authorities issue serious sanctions against students who engage in similar acts to serve as a deterrent to others. Alhaj Yaqub A.B. Abubakar is the national president of CHAS. When it happens this way and authorities are firm and make students aware that to the extent that they may even lose those papers because they are not cooperating with authorities to write, it will send the right signal to the very students themselves concerned and their counterparts in other schools that if they misbehave and they do not go through the right channel, they will be penalized appropriately. So moving forward, therefore, I want to plead with authorities. Authorities here, I'm referring to especially our politicians, the chief executives and education authorities like the directors of education at the district metropolitan level and even at the higher level at headquarters that we should be patient enough to investigate the issue and not to rush into trying to cool tempers by asking headmaster to leave the scene and students should have their way to write the examination. The repercussion will be what we are observing now. Alhaji Yaqub also cautioned teachers who allegedly take contributions from students with a promise of assisting them in the exams to stop, as he says persons caught will be severely dealt with. Authorities at the West Africa Examination Council, YX, say they are appalled by the worrying trend where students resort to relying on examination more practices and then agitate when they tend not to perform well in the exams. Speaking to City News, the branch controller of Waiek in the Ashanti region, Divine Walanyo Agbanyo, says his outfit has begun investigations into issues of alleged examination more practices and schools found culpable who have the examination papers cancelled. The first thing is to get a report from the schools. Then we continue with our investigations, but we have also started our investigations. When we are writing exams, we have irregular activities which should not take place before, during, or after the exams. And all these are punishable. And some of these are such that you can have the entire results of that paper cancelled for the school. Wayek also warned that it would take serious actions against teachers who are caught encouraging examination more practices in their various schools. It's been alleged that they've collected some schools, in some schools, some teachers have collected monies from the students with the promise that they help them. And I'm sure during this exam, some could not succeed. We have entrusted the heads of school to ensure that the exam is conducted in a smooth and effective way. But some of them, somehow, teachers are able to take snapshot of the questions. The morning or the very moment is open. They quickly send it out. Solutions are worked out. And the student managed to go in or even some teachers go into the room with the solutions.